The first attempt to privatize Nigeria's aluminium smelter company, Auscon, was in 2002. This process was, however, bedeviled by encumbrances which terminated it. In 2004, a second attempt was made. They saw the emergence of the BFI Group, a Nigerian-American consortium, as the preferred bidder. The sum of $410 million was the value to be paid by the winner on the company. But at the point of signing the issue of share purchase agreement, issues arose to clog the process, including several litigations. The current Director General of the Bureau of Public Enterprises is accusing the BFI Group of not being able to pay a certain amount required after a letter of offer was presented. This company could not pay the 10% deposit as required by the RFP, right, and the transaction document of $41 million. But the BFI group disagrees with the BPE, accusing the Bureau of substituting the share purchase agreement in order to deprive them ownership of the plant. They gave us the share purchase agreement along with 19 exhibits. We looked at it, we signed it along with the exhibits and returned it to them. After they received the six which we signed first, they are either supposed to sign the same and return to us or invite us to the office as they always do on a photo session with media and all that. But they did not do that because it was set for mischief. Rather, what they did, they signed two copies of it and returned only the agreement portion and detach all the 19 exhibits, which basically each of these exhibits explain detail. The BPE has, however, reacted to the claims by the BFI group through a statement. The statement says that the BFI group's claim are totally false as the company has already signed the agreement as ordered by the Supreme Court. It contends that the agreement was signed in December last year and queries why it was signed if it was the wrong one. The agreement, according to the BPE, stipulates that payments be made within 15 days, which the BFI group has not done. Now, it's already 16 years since the preferred bidder for the company emerged. And while the war of words between both parties linger, another company, UC Russell, has continued to manage the aluminium company against the judgment delivered by the Supreme Court. From Abuja, Chinemerem, Joseph, Silverbird News 24.